In this video, I will show you how to create a website using Wix.com. So Wix is basically a popular platform that makes it easy for anyone to build a website, even if you don't have any coding skill. It's a great option for personal sites, small businesses, or anyone looking to create an online presence quickly. We will go through the step-by-step -step instructions uh, from signing up to publishing your first site. So you can have your own website running up in no time. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the video. So the very first thing that you need to do, you just need to come over to google.com and over here what you need to do, you just need to simply type Wix and then press enter. Once you do this, you see this is the website uh, where we are going to create our very first website and it is completely free to use. So just click on that and you will land over here over here you can see that there are few options and if you see a start for free no credit card is required and if you uh, don't find this link i will provide the link in the description box so you can simply just go and land on this page and once you are on this page what you need to do you just need to simply click get started and this will land you over here as you can see now you have two options if you don't have an account you just need to sign up but if you already have an account what you need to do you just need to simply click on login but as uh, i can expect that most of you don't have an account on wix so what you need to do you just need to simply click sign up over here and over here we need to provide the email address and then confirm that email address and we need to choose a password for our wix website so every time we need to uh, log into our website, we need to enter the email and the password that we write over here. So for that, I just uh, enter the email address over here and then I just need to confirm that email and you can follow along uh, this tutorial so you don't miss any important step. So after confirming this, what I will need to do, I will just need to create a password. So for that, I will just choose it and simply click sign up. As now I have just uh, entered the password over here. Now I will just need to click sign up. And after that, uh, you can simply save it over here. So every time you are going to log in, uh, you can simply click login and it will provide the login credential over here. So now let's just uh, start building our website from scratch. So it will ask you a couple of questions that you need to answer so it can build the website for you. So first of all, who are you creating a website for? So obviously if you are creating website for yourself or for your business or your friend, you need to choose the very first one. But if you are a freelancer and you want to create a website for your client, then you need to choose this one. But as I am going to create it for myself, I will be choosing this one and now click continue. Now after that you will land on this page and it is saying you that you can, this AI can create the website for you but uh, for that you just need to click setup without jet. So if you choose this option and you want to simply uh, ask AI that you need this thing and it will create that for you but we are not going to do that for us. Uh, we are simply going to create the website from scratch uh, using the templates. So if you want to create the website from scratch by yourself, then you just need to click on setup without chat. Now what you need to do, you just need to tell that what type of website do you want to create? Let's say uh, I want to create a website for my plumbing business. So I will just simply type here plumbing service. So let's say I have a plumbing business and I want to create a website for that and you can simply choose it for anything else the tutorial will be same and I'm just going to show you one of the method that how we can create a website for plumbing business but if you have uh, if you want to create a website for your blog or you want to create a website for your gardening business it would be the same so let's say I want to go with this and after that just click continue and over here, uh, you just need to enter what uh, 
the website name should be let's say i want to name it like plumbing master xyz as this might be the domain name might not be available so i may need to enter something else at the end but as you can see now now what are your goals for this website so you just need to, as this is a plumbing uh, website and i need uh, someone to book uh, for my services so i will just click on that but if you want to sell the product you just need to click on that and if you want to offer some online courses you can choose that and you can just go through all these options but in my case uh, this is the option that i need to go with so just click on continue now and over here what else do you need to manage your business uh, choose below and we will make sure you have the right tool uh, sing your personal calendar advertise on google so we don't need anything uh, right now so just click finish and it will just start preparing the dashboard for our this website and it may take a few seconds and as you can see that uh, it is now building the dashboard for this website okay so after that as you can see that uh, we have landed on our dashboard on the left side we have all these options like we can see the analytics of our website like the traffic and real-time views on our website and but before that what we need to do we just need to uh, connect a domain to our website so as you can see that our domain name or the website name was uh, plumbing master but that name is not available and it is suggesting us that masterplumbingguru.net is available and if you like this domain what you need to do you just need to simply click make it yours and then buy it but if you don't like this you just simply can play around with the words over here and once you do this you just need to each time you need to check whether this domain is available or not and once you find out that this domain is available what you need to do you just need to simply click make it yours and over here uh, if you want to uh, uh, connect a custom domain you need to upgrade your account but if you uh, uh, want to go with the manual domain that we just uh, created that is plumbingmaster.wix.com then you don't need to pay over here and once you create the domain name and you connect it over here our next step is we need to design our website and that is the most crucial part of this video for that you just need to simply click on design site right here and over here you have two options either you can generate the website using AI so it will just simply create a website uh, without your involvement but uh, I would like to go with a template section and create the website by my own so I can customize it later on and can add the values uh, that I would like to put into the website so you have two options you can choose any one of this but in this video I will be going with a template so for that just click on pick a template over here and over here you can see that on the very top this is automatically search that plumbing service so all the website below are very much relevant to what we are trying to build as you can see that this is the website that looks more like the best match for our website our business so i will just simply click on edit but if you don't find anything from here you can simply click on businesses and services and from here you can choose or you can click on stores or if you want to create a blog then you just need to simply click personal blog or the blogs from right here and but the best option is you just need to always search over here the services like uh, in my case it's plumbing and your guess it can be gardening you just need to search gardening over here and this all will be the options right here now let me just quickly uh, edit this and customize this one so further just click on edit 
and it will do some work behind the scene and will load the website uh, that we can customize uh, each bot okay so as you can see that uh, the website is loaded and now it's working and let's wait for a few seconds till it is loaded completely okay so as you can see that ai is everywhere it is now asking me that whether uh, it should provide you some description but we are not going to uh, work with ai so i will just simply close this but if you want to create the uh, add some details about your site and it will provide you uh, the text for your website if you want to do this you can simply do that but for now i will be just leaving that okay so as you can see that now here we just need to connect our domain and if we don't connect uh, this would be the url of our website like www.pix.com and here would be our website url um, so if you want a custom domain for your uh, website that if you are running a business you need to do with that you just need to simply connect your domain over here and if you don't know how to do it i have already made a video on that that you can easily find in the description of this video and now this is how my website is looking like on a uh, laptop or pc and this is how it will look like uh, on mobile this is how it will look like on mobile so for that just sim simply click skip now and now let's just simply click on switch to desktop and if you see uh, your website like this you just simply need to click on this plus icon and it will be uh, shifted to 100 percent zone and now let's start building this website and design this website so first of all what you need to do you can find that uh, this is the text on the website and everything that is over here is cast customizable you can customize this tag you can customize this uh, all the options over here as you can see that this is the website url plumbing master so this was the url if you want to change it what you need to simply do it you just need to click on add text and then you type everything like plumbing master you can type it right uh, like that and over here you can choose the style let's say i want to go with the heading 2 heading 3 heading 4 but in my case i would like to go with this and from here you can change the fonts as you can see that at the moment it's uh, impact but if you want to go with any other text uh, that is not that bold uh, let me just quickly choose any text from here i like this one so if i need to move it i will just simply click on that extend it for that okay this one works for me and if you want to decrease the size you can simply do it from here let's just uh, change the font to impact at the moment okay so this is the text this is the side if you want to make it bold you can do it from here you want to make it italic you can do it right from here but let's just uh, make it like that and over here you can simply align it on the left side on the right side over here you can add the effects like uh, this one or this one character and line lining sign up you can customize everything from here okay so now that uh, the text has been uh, edited you can edit it using uh, the ai as you can see that ai is everywhere and now if you want to add your logo right here you don't want to have uh, this text right here so what you need to simply do is you just need to click on uh, uh, this plus button right here and over here you need to click on image and from here you need to click on upload and import and as you can see uh, we have now two options uh, if you have your logo on your uh, computer or PC you just simply need to click upload images or if you already have some images or logos on your website and you want to import that from here you just need to simply click on that 
and once you do this it will load those this batch as you considered over here you can simply click on connect google drive if you want to import anything from google drive and if you have anything on your wix account uh, that will show up right here but at the moment as we haven't uploaded any file over here so we might not be having anything right here and if you want to upload anything over here you, you just need to simply click on upload media and then simply uh, upload the file or the image from your pc or laptop right into the wix library and after that you simply need to click that image and click add to page and here is another great feature that i would like to discuss now you can see that you already have three options to upload or uh, get the media the first one was to upload the media from your pc or laptop the second one was from your wix library and here is a third one that you are going to like as you can see that here is ai image creator and it's a beta program by uh, wix uh, website over here you can simply create any image that you want in my case i want to create a logo for this website uh, the website name is plumbing master so i will just be uh, writing over here create a logo for my website name is plumbing master so once you type your prompt right here you have two options either you can create uh, the images in this style or in the vector style i would like to go with the vector style right here and now click on create image and just wait for a few seconds till this works in the background and you would see that it will bring us a very beautiful logo that we can use right away in our wix website so let's just wait for a few seconds as you can see that so it's it just mixed up the wording but if you ever get uh, this style of image you can simply change the prompt and make it simple plumbing master logo simply type this and let's see how this one uh, give us the logo now we just click on create image and it will again start processing and we will see if it gives us a better logo than the very first one and now look at and now look at that how beautiful this one so as you can see that it's still messing with the uh, uh, text but you can always change it uh, from the design so once you like this one you just need to click use image and after that you can simply uh, design this image like if you want to decrease or crop the image size you can do that right here and here are all the other features like you can adjust uh, the brightness you can adjust the contrast from here uh, let me just quickly do it right here and as you can see and you can er erase the objects from this image let's say you don't want the uh, cap or right over here you can simply do that but i'm not going to do that i hope that you understand what to do when you are going to create the logo with uh fix photo studio so once you like this you just need to simply click save right here and it will be saved over here as you can see that this is another uh image that i created using the same ai and this one looks pretty good so i will be choosing this one so for that i just need to click on add to page and it's right here so i just need to simply uh, scroll down make it a bit smaller like this one and now i just need to move the text to the right side as you can see that here is my logo and on the right side i have my website name if you want to remove the website name from here you can simply delete it from here but i would like to keep it and that's how you can add the logo over here and now let's just customize this options right here so for that we just need to move it a little bit upside 
and now just move uh, this horizontal menu in the center and this phone number in the center as well and let's just move this one on the right side and this is it let me just move it to the left side so that this card option is in the safe zone and now this is the design of our menu if you again if you want to change the phone number from here you can simply click on uh, that and now click add x and over here you can simply change it to 2000 something or what is whatsoever the number of your shop is i'm just going to put some number right here okay so this is the number and i will just keep everything as it is and if you want to uh, let's say change uh, any text from this horizontal menu what you need to do you just need to click on quick edit and over here once you click on that you can see that there are a few options right here if you want to change any uh, option from this menu you can do it right from here you just simply need to click on manage menu and over here you can see that the very first option is home and if you want to change it or you want to rename it you can do it from here and uh, let me just show you if you want to delete any one of uh, from here as services is important we are going to offer the services uh, what we are going to offer on we are going to show in this section of uh, our main menu and here is the about section it is also important the contact us uh, section is also important let's say uh, this is the section uh, book online that we don't want uh, so if you want it to remove any section from here what you simply need to do you just simply need to click on these three dots right here and then click on hide from menu simply click on that and this will be hided from that main menu as uh, as you can see that it is not available uh, right now it was available and now it is disappeared so this is how you can uh, change anything from the main menu and uh, now let's move on to the next section of how we can change everything from here okay so now let's just change uh, how let's just see that how we can change the image or how we can change the text from here so it is always it's simply drag and drop you can simply just click on that and over here you just need to click on add text and you can simply uh, write a new text or you can ask the AI to write the text for you but in my case I would like to go with uh, this simple uh, this text I will just remove only this portion right from here and now this is it uh, if I want to just redesign this one I will just go to over here and click on heading 4 and from here you can change the font as always so I like the Georgia font and let's just keep the 44 font size and just make it italic and you can make it underlined but it does not look cool so i will just let it be like that and from here you can choose the style but i don't like any one of this and over here we can choose that what should be the spacing between each character and the, between the lines so if you want to keep the spacing as zero between each character you just need to write it over here and let's just decrease the size from here as you can see that if I uh, make it 1.1 the size is decreased between these two lines and this is how you can simply decrease or increase the size between each line and uh, you can simply make it vertical text like this one but this doesn't look good so i will just make it the same that it was before like this one and once you do this uh, let me just quickly fix this uh, if you just do this it will be fixed as you can see that this is it and now let's just fix this button 
as this is the most important option right here as we are going to get uh, the calls from this button right here so we need to design this button so for that just click on change text if you want to change it and over here we need to link this with the contact for us page as we are going to get the calls uh, so we just need to click on that and over here you can see that this page is going to the contact section and over there we will just be putting our information uh, so that people can fill up the form and they can contact us uh, just click on done right here and now let's design this button just simply click on design option right here and now we have some of these design let's say I want to go with this yellow design right here so and discover more buttons here are some other options like this one this one or this one okay I like this one so let's just keep this one and now just need to customize the design as you can see that over here uh, we can uh, just choose how the design may look like like this one or this one okay so this is the design and now from here we can just choose the color of the design so I would like to go with uh, yellow and from here I will be keeping it at 100% and from here the border you can choose in my case I would like to go with the black border uh, as it will give us feeling of shade and from here you can simply choose the width let's just keep it as 2 and it is looking good now let's just uh, leave the corner as it is and if you want to keep the shadow you just need to move it to an angle of 60 to 70 and at a distance of max let's say 5 pixel and the size and everything is the same and over here you can simply change the text of the color of the text and it will be good to have black text on a yellow background so this is it and now here is the font size that make it bold and that's it so from here you can choose uh, the theme or the font uh, from here and once everything is done now let's just move on to hover section so whenever we are going to hover on this button we are going to see this as uh, let's just change it to this button and the border is yellow okay that's look good already so I like this design now just simply uh, cross it and move this to the center let's just move this button to the center just simply drag and drop it right here uh, this is the center and let's just move it to the center as well this is the center and this is the center and let's just keep it at over here okay so everything is now in the center and if you want to change the image from here you can simply just click on that and now click on change background and over here you can simply what you can do is you just need to click let's create a custom image with uh, AI you can simply do that but if you have your own image you just need to simply click on image and from here you just need to simply click on upload image and do the same as it is but if you want to search from the library of Wix, you can simply type plumbing and press enter. And here are all the images related to plumbing. So let's just uh, take anyone from here. I like this one. So I will just click on change background. And 
now you will see that the background is changed and let's just change the color of this uh, text to black okay so let's just see where the color is and as you can see that here is the color of the text let's just make it uh, black right here and as you can see that if you cannot directly change the color from here what you need to do you just need to simply select all the text and then move off, uh, over here and from here you can simply change it as white looks good now let's just add some uh, highlight or shadow or you can add that but let's just see if we can add a shadow on this text here what you need to do you just need to simply uh, select all the text from here and from here let's just say the color is white and so simply just uh, select this and from here just click on white and now just scroll down and click on effects and from here you can simply choose any effect from here but I would like to have an outline around my text so I will just click on that and if I see it now it looks good so this was the main text as you can see this is it and now this section of our website is completed as you can see that now we are going to have this section where our plumbing services are provided like we are going to offer leak repairs pipe install drain cleaning water heater services and emergency plumbing so if you want to change anything from here you can simply click on that and it's as simple as you just need to click on edit text and text um, and edit your text right here but, but I would like to keep this as it is and if you don't offer any of this service like let's say I am not offering water heater services so I will just simply uh, select this and now click on uh, group elements or I can simply uh, delete it from here like I click on that and over here you can see that there is an option to delete so just simply click on that and it's deleted so again now click on that and click delete and it is completely deleted now and now we just need to adjust these four options so for that uh, let's just move it uh, to the left side Simply move it to the right side and now move this one and this one as well and now we just need to move this one to the right side over here And now let's just move it over here so the distance between each one of these are uh, similar so as you can see that now this is the design that we are having right now if you want to change anything from here you can simply do it by just clicking on edit text or you can create it using AI so once you create all of these uh, now you just need to move on to the about section and over here you just need to write a, about your services as I have just written that as a dedicated plumbing business we are committed to providing top notch and basically with AI it's now pretty simple all you need is just to explain it that what your services is and it will provide you uh, all the uh, text about your services and now here you can add your testimony and I hope that now you understand how to add the section and if you want to delete a section completely you can simply uh, click on that and now click delete and as you can see that this section is completely deleted uh, if you just click on that now click on that again click on that and now click delete and this is deleted so that is it now at the end we have a contact us section this is the most important part 
if you are offering some services over here you can simply choose call us and add your number over here you can simply add your email your area and now get a free quote over here you can have wix forms right here and once uh, someone type the name email subject and message and schedule a service it will be sent to your wix uh, dashboard so this is how you design your word, uh, wix website i hope that uh, the steps that i have shared in these videos are video are simple and easy to understand and it's not uh, very much complicated so if you still have any question uh, and the last uh, thing that i just want to clear before we finish this tutorial is we just need to publish this so for that you just need to click on publish right here and it will take a few seconds to uh, and it will publish your website and as you can see that this is the url of my site and if i click view site i uh, you will see that this is my site okay so as you can see that this is my site that we have just created and it looks pretty good so if someone click on get a free code they will automatically go to this section and over here they can simply type their name their email address their subject message and then schedule a service once they, uh, they do it uh, it will be sent directly into your wix dashboard that you can simply find from go to dashboard section from here and just read once you are on your uh, dashboard you can see that there is an option of inbox so just click on that and everyone who sends you uh, messages through discord uh, they will appear right over here so this is it uh, this is how uh, this website will work and if you want to upgrade this later on and create and add your own uh, custom uh, domain what you need to do you just need to click on home section right here and now just simply click connect domain and over here over here if you have any uh, uh, you have already purchased your uh, domain from any other uh, website you can simply connect it right here so that is it I hope you like this tutorial and if it is please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much